Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, this is the ultimate 3D printing main event of the evening. Fighting out of the red corner, A, B, S, the armored tank. And fighting out of the yellow corner, Pet G, the flexing brawler. Fighting out of the blue corner, PLA, the crowd favorite. Let the battle begin. Round one, the test of pure stretch. This is the tensile test. We pull every filament until it breaks. First up is red ABS. Five samples face the tensile test. On average, ABS reaches a peak stress of about 40 megapascals, carries around 582 newtons under load, and breaks after roughly 3.4 millimeters of stretch. Next is yellow PETG. It really fights the pull. PETG reaches a peak stress of about 55 megapascals, a sustained force of 503 newtons, and a huge elongation of around 8 millimeters. Finally, blue PLA. In pure pull, it looks like the strongest. PLA reaches the highest peak stress at about 58 megapascals, 470 newtons sustained, but only around three millimeters of stretch before it snaps. On the scorecards, PLA wins peak force, ABS wins sustained force, and PETG wins elongation. Using a 3-2-1 point system, PETG ends up with 7 points, ABS with 6, and PLA with 5. The winner of this round, PETG. And now, round 2, the impact test. This hammer so powerful, nothing can stand in its way. Here, we are testing a 10 by 11 millimeter sample. There is no mercy in this test. They will all break. First up, we start with PLA. Now, let's look at the results. First, PLA, average of five tests, 5.95 kilojoules per square meter. Now, Pet G. Now, Pet G, average, 6.39 kilojoules. And finally, ABS. And ABS, its average is a massive 23.80. Based on all the data, the winner of this round is ABS. And now, round three, the torsion test. No hitting this time, just pure torture. We are going to wring them out like a wet towel until not a single drop is left. First up, ABS. We expect toughness from the tank. The results are in. Average torsion angle, 45.3 degrees. Max stress, 33.2 megapascals. Max torque, 1.6 newton meters. Next up, Pet G. The flexible fighter takes the stage. The results, Pet G, average angle, 147.3 degrees, max stress, 37 megapascals, max torque, 1.8 newton meters, and finally, play. Time for raw power. The results, play, average angle, 84.6 degrees, max stress, 48.7 megapascals, max torque, 2.4 newton meters. Now, let's look at the grand final. First, A, B, S, a total disappointment, lowest torque, and snapped at only 45 degrees. The tank is officially scrapped, weak. Then, Pet G, amazing flexibility, twisted nearly 150 degrees without snapping, but no power, low torque, it just danced around, and play, 
it crushed the competition with power, highest torque, highest stress resistance. It was the only one to truly fight the machine. Therefore, the winner of this round, the Torque King, play. And now, round four, the layer adhesion test. I mean, the Z-axis. Here we don't just measure strength, we measure love. How faithful are the layers? Do they hold on to each other with passion, or do they get a divorce at the first sign of trouble? First up, ABS. We called him the tank. We called him armored. But does he have a heart? Does he know how to bond? The results are in. Disappointment. ABS is clearly not a good family member. Zero loyalty. Pet G, the master of chemical bonding. Whoa, just like a mother. She doesn't want to let go, holding on like holding her child. But sadly, every patience has a limit. The result, a massive sacrifice. And finally, PLA, the stiff giant. Let's see how he handles the test. Now this is a real family member, holding on until total destruction. No letting go, no giving up. ABS, kicked out of the table with 41.1. He is all alone now. But look at this war. With motherly affection, Pet G scores 55.2. The loyal warrior play scores 57.1. The difference is not even two megapascals, a total photo finish. But in this arena, there is no room for emotions. Only numbers speak. The strongest bond, the head of the family, the king of layer adhesion, PLA. Now, round five. The three-point bending test. First up, the tank, ABS. Let's see how it handles the bend. As you can see, ABS prefers to flex under stress. Look at the graph. It offers little resistance, just stretching under the load. It simply couldn't handle the pressure. Next up is Pet G. PETG is much more stubborn than ABS. It doesn't give up easily. The graph shows a steady, determined climb. Definitely a better performance than ABS. And now, PLA. Known for its stiffness, PLA hates bending. It fights back. Look at that steep slope. That is massive resistance. And here are the results. First, ABS. It stalled at 145 Newtons. No need to say more. It's the weakest link of this round. Now, Pet G. It makes an incredible climb and hits 211 Newtons. And PLA coming in rock solid, breaking 200, but stopping at 206 Newtons. What a finale. Beating PLA by just five Newtons, Pet G is the surprise champion of round five. Round six, the insert pullout test. Here we measure the grip strength of our heat set inserts. Let's see who holds on. First up, we start with ABS. Expectations are high for our armored tank. But look at that. The tank couldn't handle the pressure. 866 Newtons. Sadly, it gave up. Next is PETG, our flexible friend. Let's see what it can do. It pulls. It stretches. It fought until the very last drop of strength. And the result? 1,268 Newtons. A solid performance. And finally, PLA, the crowd favorite. Wow, look at that. The insert didn't pull out. It literally cracked the layer. Unexpected results here. A massive 1,805 Newtons. Incredible power. Let's look at the final scores. ABS. We thought heat would bond better, but unfortunately, 866.7 Newtons. It failed the class. PETG. Good bond. Good grip. 1,268.5 Newtons. And PLA. Forget gripping. It's like it was glued with a force of 1,805.5 Newtons. The winner of this round is PLA Round.
7. The Spring Fatigue Test. We take these spring-shaped parts and we compress them. The question is, how long can they hold their starting power? A BS. It started with 840 kilograms. At loop 5100, it cracked. And at loop 7029, it died. The result, it lost 11% of its power. It didn't get too tired, but it gave up way too early. Next up, Pet G. It started with 890 kilograms. With a smooth stretch, it passed 13,000 loops. Only then, a small crack. But look at the endurance. It carried the burden until loop 15,780. It finished with 780 kilograms. It lost only 12% of its power. It got tired just like ABS, but it lived twice as long. And finally, the monster PLA. Look at this. It started with a massive 1,068 kilograms. Rocket high. But look at the line. Cracking. 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 It is breaking its own bones to stay alive. It dropped down to 600 kilograms. The result? It lost 44% of its power. It started as a hero, but finished as a weakling. Total exhaustion. And the final verdict? Who is the winner? PLA had the power, but it got tired and lost half of its strength. A BS held the line, but died early. But Pet G, it kept its power. It fought for 15,000 loops. It refused to stop. The champion of endurance, the iron lung, Pet G. Round eight, the heat test, also known as the Inferno. Let's see who will survive this ring of fire. First up, PLA. The temperature is just 55 degrees, and it is unbelievable. Our champion is melting like ice cream. Unfortunately, PLA turns into liquid and says goodbye. Next is PETG. The gauge reads 70 degrees. He is not melting, but it can barely stand. It is warping like soft dough and surrendering to gravity. And finally, ABS. The temperature is exactly 100 degrees. The place is burning Burning, but look at ABS, arms crossed, completely unbothered, standing tall and solid. It disappointed us in the mechanical tests, but inside the fire, ABS proves it is a true king. The undisputed winner of this round is ABS. So friends, we have reached the end of this massive eight round marathon. I should mention this right away. We used a single brand for consistency in these tests. These are not certified laboratory tests, but for us hobbyists, they provide sufficient and incredibly meaningful data. Now, let's look at the verdict. The so-called basic PLA, it absolutely shocked us with its successful results. Honestly, if it just had a bit of UV and heat resistance, why would we ever use anything else? And PETG, I feel like we don't give it enough credit. It was always either first or second. In my opinion, it is a truly successful and balanced filament. And finally, ABS. It really disappointed me. Due to layer adhesion and bonding issues, the material we called a tank was, unfortunately, the disgrace of these mechanical tests. That is all from the Creality Arena for now. Which one is your winner? Let me know in the comments. Let's make something together.